All right. I often get asked, hey Matt, listen, cash flow millionaires, millionaires have multiple streams of income, right? I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I, I gotta challenge that thought process because in my years as an entrepreneur, and I mean, I've read the book, Multiple Streams of Income, Robert Allen, who made his money in real estate and wrote a book about it. And I remember reading this in the early 2000s, multiple streams of income, lots of ideas, lots of thoughts in here, lots of, it's really organized. And I attempted to execute, five years, I attempted to execute these multiple streams of income type theory. And you know what I found? You know how I made my cash flow millions? <laughs> With one stream, one stream. So when I'm thinking about money, when I'm thinking about your fortune, your capacity to learn one skill, to learn one idea, one business, I'm thinking about one thing. Listen guys, uh, I'm nobody special. I'm not a Harvard MBA. I'm not a Harvard graduate. I didn't go to any pedigree, Cornell or Princeton or Yale or anything like that. I'm just a simple kid right here that was born and raised here in the city of Chicago, graduated out of Cicero at Morton High School. I went to the military, I went to the Marine Corps. My capacity to learn a lot of things is pretty small. Now, I know there's a lot of talented people out there and there's a lot, there's a lot of people out there that say, you know what, I can digest a lot of things. I can wrap my mind a lot of, a lot of subjects. But here's my thing, I found myself as a single dad. I was just at the Marine Corps. I found myself working at the YMCA. Matter of fact, that's where I read the book, Multiple Streams of Income. I was a YMCA lifeguard from five to eight o'clock in the morning. And here, here's what I discovered. It was too freaking complicated. It was too complicated to learn network marketing, to learn real estate, to learn gold, to learn all these different things. So many different things to learn. So I just decided to focus on one thing. I decided to focus on my business inside the insurance industry. And for 12 years, 14 years, I started making six figures, mid six figures. Right? I said, man, I'm onto something. Because the hardest thing about making six figures is making your first $100,000. The easiest part is making your $200,000 or $300,000, $400,000 because you already know the steps to make 100 grand. The hardest part for me as a salesperson, as an independent uh, contractor, as me, myself, and I, what many of you may today call a solopreneur, is that how do I get to $100,000 income? How do I get to six figures? How do I get to seven figures? Well, that takes systems and process. So when I was reading the book, Multiple Streams of Income, and people tell me I got multiple streams of income, I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Here's why. Because when I run across the people that say, I got multiple streams of income, and I actually see where their streams of income are coming from and what, what revenue and what type of cash flow they're generating from these multiple streams of income, it ain't a stream of income at all. It's a stinking trickle. And trickles, when, when spread out over multiple trickles, end up to being nothing. So here's what I figured out. What is one thing that I can do really well? I learned how to make six figures, attempt to go into real estate, I lost money in real estate, made money in real estate. I said, you know, that's a lot of heavy lifting there. Let me just focus on what made me get the money and the capital for real estate, which was back to the insurance industry. But that was my thing. You might have a different thing. You got to find your cash cow, whatever that is for you. You need to focus on what makes you a lot of money in a short period of time so you can focus that energy into that one craft, into that one skill. Now, a lot of us right now are reading this book called Master. Let me, let me, let me grab this book for you. A lot of us are reading Robert Greene's book and uh, an awesome time to spend with him. We, uh, we had him at one of our conferences and um, he talked about uh, his book, 48 Laws of Power. Uh, many of you may have, may have read uh, the book uh, that he did with 50 Cent called The 50th Law of Power, but we're reading this month, Mastery, okay? Master, what does it mean by master? Let me, let me, just the opening quote will shock you. It says there, it says here, everyone holds his fortune in his own hands. Like a sculptor, the raw material he will fashion into a figure. But it's the same with the type of artistic activity as with all others. We're merely born with the capacity and capability to do it. The skill to mold the material into what we want must be learned and attentively cultivated. So if you got five or six or seven things going on, how do you ever master one thing? How, how do you ever get the most out of multiple things going on at the same time? If you're constantly going like this, constantly going like this, and you got a family. You're constantly going like this, going like this, next thing you know, you got kids to raise. You're going like this, going like this, you got to spend time with your spouse. You're going like this, going like this, you get to spend time with the people that you love and care about, your extended family, your, your community activities. How do you ever get to do it? Here's the bottom line, you don't. You don't. And so you end up being a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And you don't get to become a cash flow millionaire by being a master of none. You got to master one thing. In my opinion, you got to master one thing. So when I go on Google and I see these guys, oh, I got multiple streams of income here, multiple streams of income. Listen, it ain't much of a stream of income at all. Because here's the thing. Focusing on one thing, focusing on your Mississippi River of cash flow, that one thing that makes you six figures, seven figures, eight figures, nine figures, you focus on that one thing, and then 
you can start once you get that uh, to that capacity. Seven figures. We, my wife and I, we didn't start diversifying our investments outside of our own business into multiple things until we got to seven figures. And we got to seven figures, we could invest in multiple things. We invested in a liquor company. We invested in gold. We invested in different things. But we got to seven figures first. And oftentimes I see everybody right now because of what's going on in this pandemic, what's going on with our economy, what's going on with unemployment, what's going on with, with uncertainty. People are trying to do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. Next thing you know, they have multiple trickles of income. Instead of creating a Mississippi River of cash flow that gets them to seven figures. That's the point of, of this YouTube channel. That's the point of the people that watch, the mindset to become a millionaire, the strategy to become a millionaire, and obviously to become a millionaire. That's why people watch this channel. And my recommendation for you is people say, well, you know, I got, I got so many different types of ways to make money, which I will cover in another video. But people are so focused on multiple streams of income, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this and this. They split up their money, more importantly, split up their time. And they never master one. And they never get to the Mississippi River. Because see the thing with the Mississippi River, it goes from, I think, Minnesota, what, Minnesota all the way down, in the middle of our country, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. But one cash flow, that one stream, that one river, wide and deep river that goes through our country. Do you know how many states that it actually touches? Do you know how many streams that it creates? Do you know how many tributaries? Uh, for one cash flow river, and this, this example, cash flow river, the, the Mississippi River touches, guess how many states? Because of one massive river that's wide and deep. It touches over 32 states because of one river. Streams are created from rivers. Rivers are created from streams. And if you're thinking, I gotta go out there and create multiple streams of income, you're wrong. My suggestion to you is this, you find one thing, you find a system that's duplicatable, you find a process that you can teach, you find a mentor that can get in your corner, you create a culture that everybody wants to be around, that's fun to be around, because why do something if you're not having fun at it? And then you focus on that thing for an extended period of time. There's gonna be some ups, there's gonna be some, I had a lot of ups and downs. But when I look back and I say, man, was this process worth it? I'm looking right now, I'm looking at my house, looking at my family, looking at my children, looking at the things we haven't acquired in our life. It is so stinking worth it to say, you know what, let me focus on one thing, one thing to focus on, a cash flow Mississippi River. Forget this multiple streams of income bullshit. Focus on one cash flow stream of income and then that creates river. There's timing in everything. And for some of you lifting up, trying to get your first six figures and seven figures, right now my suggestion to you is focus on that one thing. Give that a shot. Let me know what your thoughts are. Feedback, comments, questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you're following us on Facebook, click like, press like to hit our Facebook page, make sure you follow our Facebook page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notification, be alerted next time we upload our next episode. And make sure to watch the backstory of what's going on. Make sure you also follow us on Instagram, a money smart guy too as well. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Beautiful scenery back here in Chicago, right? By the way, if, if, if you wanna know, what's the main thing that Chicago is known for? You wanna know what's the main thing Chicago is known for? The biggest buildings, the biggest buildings in downtown Chicago are owned by what? Life insurance companies. <laughs> All right, with that being said, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Till we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.